And there we go. Careful out there, director. Understood. So here we look. Yes. Thirty-seven, thirty-three. Uh, you can go. Um, have I got that on a weapon? I have. Okay, and you are exclusive to spin. Okay, we don't need you. Uh, we've got none of those. That's that cleared out. Okay, so it's time to talk to the board. Uh, hotline chamber. Uh, that way? That. That way. Oh, I can't use my magic ability in this area. Why well, can't... It's a huge victory. Huge! I heard she sacrificed her brother's soul to seal the history of Jen. What are you talking about? I've told you a hundred times to stop with your conspiracy horseshit. Oh, they are just so helpful. Stop the hiss, right? Sounds like she can really handle things. Finally, someone had the balls to take the fight to them. It's about time we had someone other than an old man at the helm. Actually, I agree. She's beaten the hiss over and over. If we win this thing, it'll be because of her. Ah, uh, less of the if. Okay. Director's office. And then we go in here, and through here. Uh, this way. I'm getting there! Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Oh no, I hated go down there. I hated going down there. I got killed tons of times. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of times. Uh, and I can't jump over. Uh, da -da. Uh, have I gone the wrong direction already? Yes, I had. This is going to be the more direct route. Did a fine job handling this, especially. Yeah, I found a file on the old director, Northmore. Didn't list any date of death. You, uh, you know anything about that? Could be an error. The record staff process a lot of data. Maybe it just slipped through. <clears throat> Maybe. This place really suits Ati. 
Find the door. Unmapped area. Well, that's... So that etching is the door. Okay. Let's try opening it. Okay. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Yet again, wish I had a light. So the board opened the foundation. For who or for what? And now it's asking for help. Are you gonna give us some light? Oh, that's better than nothing. Research site Gamma. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. Oh, this is going to be one of those creepy things. Ooh. I like that. I don't like that. I don't like the way that just grew. Okay. Huh. Those crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. Uh, I don't like this one bit. Ah, but we... Typewriter? Okay, I was hoping for some paperwork to try and explain what the heck is going on. So that's deep cavern that way. That's blocked off. Ah, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son. The supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. Interesting. So before um, Northmore, there was another director called Ash. And this is um, the report of his son. Interesting. Which means this place hasn't been visited in ages. I still don't like how those things are. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How is she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. <sighs> Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Okay. Um, multimedia. Uh, log discovery, which is what we listen to. And this is going to be Marsh Marshall's message to us. I only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. 
Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself, to understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place, and on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the Hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. So this is where Marshall went. I th Whoa, that's bright down there. Let's just skip over that hole. Um, that's too small a gap for me to fit through because I'm a video game protagonist, so I can't like climb up, get on the belly, and like scooch my way through. Which okay. Aha, uh -huh, so that's what they're there for. That's good to know. Um, so we are here. According to this, that way's a dead end. Um, I concur. It's very bright. Oh. How do we do this then? Uh, let's run back, get some of this healthy stuff. Um. That's kind of the max height I can get to. Um, yeah, I thought that was just for show. Oh dear. Going into the white again. Okay, I think I need something for that. Um, see, we came in that way. Yeah, this definitely makes me think I come back for that. Because they've put another box that you can easily get access to. Research site, Delta, wider gamma, Delta. We're probably going to be working our way up to Alpha. And got to be careful of those spheres because they're dangerous. Uh. Thank you for the extra health. I really needed that. Before we activate that thing. Uh, how do we do it? That's how, but that's not how we get that. We've got to learn how to manipulate the rock somehow. Okay, let's activate you.
there's a level above us. I'm not going to be able to get up there just yet. And that's a way back. So it looks like we've got to go down and round. Yeah, that's one of the places we've got to go at some point. <laughs> uh, I don't like this one bit. So they was doing archaeology here, judging by the grid system. Cave paintings. At first I thought the cave paintings in the foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depict events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume these images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible that I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd though. The style and medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. Paleo Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these, or is there someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted, or perhaps some of the paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present, and possibly the future. I see them... I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what would, could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is it writing? Oh, I'm curious about these pictures now. Hello, you. You want me over there. But I got a feeling I get to there from over there. Whoa. Okay, these are interesting. Ah, oh, you're going to help me, sir. The hiss are using pickaxes now. Yes, it appears the hiss are using pickaxes. Because they want to make it more difficult for... Oh, that probably means... Ah, uh, the Hiss Sharpened. Hiss Sharpened agents display the Paranautican ability to rapidly move short distances. This ability is unique in the fact that it's not associated with any known object of power. However, we should not discount the possibility that this ability is an object variation. For example, abrupt physical relocation, APR, could potentially be a variant of the jukebox's effect. Other explanations for the Hiss Sharpen's ability currently include momentary time manipulation, 
brief increase in physical speed, inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. If we do accept that the his sharpened ability is not connected to a known object of power, then the his are either manifesting unique paranormal abilities or they are objects in the house that we aren't aware of. Either way, the hiss is continuing to develop new strains of corruption, and this is cause for concern. Yeah, I don't like things being thrown at me. I didn't like the way that glass was reflecting. Ooh, more stuff to read. Relocation order. Tom, you missed the good news. I'm sure official memo will go out soon, but Northmore called in at all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up to the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they happen. All I know is going up means goodbye to darkness, goodbye to weird lunches and that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye piercing into a pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore's ordering the Foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our staff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue, we've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks we want to stay here and shift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We're breathing that shit in. So this is all rusted iron. Oh, that is not good for your lungs. Thought I'd just have a look in that little cubby hole. <clears throat> See if there's anything of interest. The crossroads, that's what they mentioned about. Okie dokie. Oh, that's not nice. Right, so... Where I'm facing is a dead end. Or so it tells me. Ah, it's the crystal formation again. Okay, dear. See, this loops round up to the top bit, and I might be able to get... Oh, you son of a... Never mind. That's a to-do later job. Uh, let's see... So, round here, I can hear it. Oh, it's what's behind me that I'm hearing. What are you? Foundation accident. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert 
Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves. Robert Ricardo, oh, great name. Well, today you found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the centre. Kind of looks like one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had bureau member sh shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docks, the docks are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we're careful to limit this guy's exposure to non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to re-evaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orientating than subjecting more outsiders to the ship that we deal with. Almost ends up with a dead or loony. Marcus. Yeah, I can see how this place would send someone loony. Ooh. All that glitters. And again, that's all blocked off. Hang on. Let's just try. Yeah, I thought that wouldn't be the case. They wouldn't make it that simple. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. Uh. Well, this is new. I say it to you, annoying. Come on. Where is he? Did he fall down? Be nice if he fell down. But no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Um. Right, so we go over here. I'm guessing you want me to go over there next. Then to the steps. I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Uh, and Polaris just talked to her. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Wait! It's Jesse! The director! That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign for us. Cave bleed. Whoa, this place is huge. Marshall, can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Okay, investigate the Nile. We'll get there. K. 
Canyon Rim. So that goes there. Uh, we have reward. And I just destroyed that simultaneously. Uh, in here, ooh, we have projector. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery, a pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men and now it's handing out presents? <laughs> some sort of thing. If it is, we're most certainly <laughs> Hell, we don't even know the rules. Sorry, pressed a button at the wrong time. Okay, so that's the pill up. So this is how they got the gun. AKA Excalibur and we're not going to base camp. But, that looks damn familiar, and that looks interesting. Uh, let's go round the back of the pillar. Let's see if there's anything back here. Some literature. Uh, the pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Uh, Freud, would, Freud would certainly have something to say with the pillar's overly erect nature. But I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror, and everything but being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an illusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like a husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Toyta wrote that the great, great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place? Concrete walls and rocky caverns. It's easier to see it as an anomaly, but buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if the pillar is any more welcome here than we are. Astral copy. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individuals' consciousness or directed by a higher intelligence such as board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. So that may not have been Marshall that we saw. Director Fadens? Oh, that's me. 
Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential paranauticans to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to note that they appear immune to his corruption. And that's the second log. So, with all that done, it's time to claim this control point. <laughs> 